Cheers everyone, I've got a nice hot cup of tea, in fact it's too hot. It is now quarter to three, I'll put that down there, it is quarter to three and I haven't long been home. I've been in secondary school today and I had meetings over lunchtime and I've just had some lovely homemade pumpkin and garlic soup that I made yesterday, which was absolutely yummy and it was well needed because my tummy was starting to rumble <laughs> in those meetings, so I had to make my apologies. Um, this is the first chance I've had to come on and have a chat with you today. Uh, I had to call my dad first thing this morning because today is the eight year anniversary since my mum passed away from ovarian cancer. Um, and I wanted to just give him a call and just check up on him and you know, and he is fine. We're all fine. It's just a day of reflection, isn't it? And it's a day to kind of remember that I had the best mum um, and uh, yeah, although I miss her, I am so grateful to have had her in my life. Um, I will put a link down below, um, just if anyone's interested, and I think it's worth, you know, keeping up to date with things, but um, there are some really common symptoms of ovarian cancer that can be overlooked, especially in uh, perimenopausal and menopausal women. So I'm going to pop a link down below, but um, yeah, go and have a quick look just so that you're aware of it because it is one of those um, cancers that often it is found in the very late stages of, um, which is what happened to my mum. Anyway, as an aside, um, I am working still this afternoon, so I've got some paperwork to get done, but this evening I'm going out, out. Very excited. Um, <laughs> Jack and I are going to a knit night um, in our local town and we haven't been before but actually we know one of the people who um, help organise it and uh, so we're going to go along so it's upstairs in a really old pub um, and I'm looking forward to that so I shall take you along with me and hopefully film a little bit. Um, yeah so that's exciting but anyway I've got to get back to the laptop first and uh, get on with the day so I'll catch up with you later. and happy 24th of October. I hope you're all having a lovely day. It's currently quarter past three and this is the first time that I've been able to speak to you again today. So I've been in three schools and I took my camera with me and I was all ready to pop you on the dashboard and have a little chat with you. But unfortunately, yeah, with traffic and everything, I just didn't have the time. So I think I, I've taken some footage of my feet and of some trees and that's it. So apologies for that, but it is half term for me. In a couple of hours time, I will be shutting the laptop and yeah, I've got the next week off, which is really nice and really nice for you too, to see something other than me in my car. But thank you for all your lovely kind comments saying that you really didn't mind. It did make me feel much better. Um, yeah, and I'm just happy that you're still tuning in and, and watching these, so thank you very much. I will be answering some questions. I won't be doing that today because we have Morris later on this evening um, and I've got to get dinner and everything else, but tomorrow I should have time, so I think tomorrow might be a time for me to go through some of your questions and then um, answer some of those, which will be good. I went to knit night last night. It was the first one. Uh, Jack and I went to a local knit night in our local town um, and we had the best time. It was lovely. There was lots of yarn, lots of projects, a lovely project bag um, and lovely people. We really did have a great time and we had lots of laughs. It was wonderful and um, hello to those of you that recognised me <laughs> from on here or the podcast. Um, it was really nice to meet you and I'm sorry if I came across as awkward. Um, I'm quite a shy person really so um, yeah I find meeting new people a bit tricky sometimes because I just feel awkward so I'm sorry if I came across as that but it was lovely to meet you anyway. Wittering already, being awkward again. <laughs> um, 
Right, so yeah, Morris tonight, got to get dinner ready, got to send some emails, I've got to finish a report, and uh, yeah, then we'll be off out. So I don't think there's going to be much more footage um, for the rest of the day, so I will probably sign off now, and um, I look forward to seeing you in the next vlog.